All right, today we're going to be looking at making an HTML5 magazine uh, pretty simply and easily. Uh, no, well, no real coding involved, so no Objective C or any of that good stuff, which is again always nice for someone like me. I'm a instructional designer. I have to take time to teach people uh, with a lot of things I don't always have the time to go through, or sometimes I just want to crank things out because it's well it's necessary. So anyway, doing it with InDesign. Uh, jQuery masonry and Adobe Edge for a little extra animations again quick animations in a hurry all right so as you can see pretty simple have top paragraph three columns images h1 h2 excuse me h2 h1 and one thing that may not be apparent is all of these are put inside a different rectangle frame for each one of them the reason I did that is so when I output it to Dreamweaver to HTML it will allow me to quickly and easily find where one column begins and ends and another one begins and ends and so I put each one of these are in a separate uh, rectangle frame tool now before you output it because I made this mistake and it drove me bad I couldn't figure out what the problem was if you have your cursor with one of these selected one of these frames for instance selected and you hit output or ex excuse me export to Dreamweaver it will literally just export this one frame and you'll wonder why you couldn't get it to work it's shown one paragraph what's the problem make sure none of them are selected okay once you do that file export for Dreamweaver again it's a CS5 not CS55 in CS55 there's more images I mean excuse me more options this one is just Dreamweaver but again that's all we need for right now because it's really going to run out just in HTML and you can open it in whatever editor you want yes I want to obviously I already did this before all right in the advanced section for right now I'm going to embed the CSS the default would be to not embed any CSS and then when you're trying to figure out well why didn't it come over you know I took the time to establish paragraph styles uh, to set up things why isn't it working well that's why because it didn't embed it so I'm gonna embed it by default and then later on we could always copy it out and put it into an external file for right now just for ease of use I'm gonna put it directly in the, into the file and then I could always yank it out after all right and for the nice thing too, you could also include external JavaScript files. So if you want to put in your jQuery masonry right here, you could. We're not going to just because when we start using Adobe Edge, it's going to cause some problems between the two. Believe me, heartache and heartburn. That's the only reason I found it out. Uh, so for right now, we're not going to do that. All right. Export it. Bada bing, bada boom. It will. Most things when you export... It will, it will then pull up the thing you just exported. InDesign does not. No idea why. That's something that Adobe needs to do. People will be sitting here waiting, wondering what's going on. So I'm going to open it up. Open it up in, obviously, Dreamweaver. Not obviously. You can open it up in anything. My Dreamweaver opens. And now I have my... And look at that. Even with that, still screwed it up some this thing is unbelievable at times sometimes you will have to actually render it out more than once because it looks like this time it rendered did it even render three paragraphs yeah no it rendered all three. look at that this is what I'm talking about sometimes the little things that you don't even notice and why clearly when you looked at the InDesign I had one of these pictures but for some reason this one it did too Okay, but again, not necessarily a big deal. We'll fix that in Dreamweaver. That's what Dreamweaver is for. All right, so hop into the design side for right now. I don't need both of these. Okay, final code. It's a separate div. Don't want that. Bam. All right. Now this one. It dropped the inside of the paragraph. I find that very difficult then to work with. So I'm actually going to put it inside the div, but outside the paragraph. And as you can see, when it rendered, it rendered these classes called story. Those are the frames. Next time we'll look on changing these and adding the things in that you need in order to get it the way you want. See you next time. Bye-bye.